So it's the 28th of June 2014 and I'm standing here in Amsterdam and this week I'm going to be going on a bike and barge tour. So this is the barge that I'm going to be staying on for the next week and the barge is going to be stopping in various different spots and the big group of us is going to be doing some bicycle riding um, throughout the countryside of Holland and these are some of the bikes that we're going to be riding. So we just got on the ship, we're just docked here. Um, as I said, in Amsterdam, I think they're just getting ready to untie the ropes there. Uh, but I'll give you a little bit of a tour of the boat. Um, so down this way, there is the, uh, the kitchen area, or the eating, dining kind of area. And down here's the room where I'm going to be staying in. Um, all the rooms are fairly different. Um, I'm sharing this with one other guy. Um, the room is actually meant for four people though. So as you can see on either side, um, there's bunk beds. There's one bed on each side. Um, I just have my luggage and things stored on the top there, but the other side is very much the same. Um, of course, this room is, you know, quite small if you compare it um, to a hotel room. But um, from what I've been told, as barges go, this is actually quite a large room. Um, through this door over here is our private washroom. So of course, it's got the little toilet. Over on this side is the mirror, and there's me and a little sink and garbage pan, and then. Behind here is the small shower. Um, as you can see, we're at the very front of the boat, so the walls here slope and point inwards towards the front. So directly in front of us is where the nose of the boat would be. So before getting on the boat this afternoon, um, I spent about half a day um, exploring around uh, Amsterdam, and uh, it's a really you know, cool city. Uh, for me, what I think the coolest is all the bike infrastructure that they have. Basically, every single road in the city um, has some kind of, um, you know, bike separated pathway. It's just really, really impressive. I really, really hope that one day we'll have something like that in my city of Toronto. Anyway, I'm hoping to share some of my experiences while I'm here doing this trip in Holland. So here we are just pulling away from the dock uh, where the boat had been parked, where we came and met it earlier in the day. And uh, if I remember correctly, we were left around 1.30 or 2 in the afternoon. And uh, we pretty much headed straight east um, to get out of the city of Amsterdam into this larger body of water. And uh, to get out there, we had to go through a lock um, because the water level in the city of Amsterdam, uh, we were told, is about 10 centimeters lower on this body of water. Um, so once we were out on the open water, we kind of turned from going east to going north uh, because our destination was a town called Horn. And uh, while we were out on the open water, of course, we saw lots of sailboats that were uh, puttering around, you know, enjoying the windy day. And also saw uh, quite a few wind turbines um, over on the shore. I don't exactly remember how long the boat ride was, but I think it was about three or four hours. Uh, so we arrived in Horn uh, before dinner time, so we took a, a walking tour around the city. Um, I don't have any video clips um, from that, although I do have a few photos. Um, it's a nice, you know, old historic town. Um, and then we came back and uh, had our first dinner um, on the boat. All the meals on the boat were quite good. Um, this is just a picture of my appetizer and my dessert. So after dinner, we got all of the bikes fitted and we went for a short 10 kilometer ride uh, just to make sure that uh, all of the bikes were working properly. After we got back, we spent the night on the boat while it was docked at Horn. The next morning, we woke up, had breakfast on the ship, and then began our first day of riding. Our ride took us from Horn to a town called Enkhuizen, which is about a 30 kilometer bike ride. This video clip is us riding away from where the boat was parked and then crossing through the downtown area of Horn. As we were leaving, the captain of the boat was also getting ready to leave so that the boat could meet us in Enkhuizen. In no time we were out riding in the country and heading east along the coast. We soon spotted our first historic Dutch windmill. The route we took followed a bike path which followed the coast, including sections which were on top of the dike, as well as below the dike. Eventually we took a left turn and headed inland for a little bit. 
Although many of these roads didn't have any separated bike infrastructure, they still felt very safe because the cars that were on them were moving very slowly and they always yielded to the cyclists. The sky stayed cloudy for most of the day, but it was still nice and warm and it didn't end up raining at all. We eventually rode into a small town where we stopped for a short break at a coffee place. After that, we continued riding along the coast. We then headed inland a little bit through an area which had lots of greenhouses. We then rode through another small town. Saw some horses riding past, and eventually met back up with the coast again. We rode for a little while along beside a big highway, and then took a short stop to look at an old boat lift, and then rode through the town which was adjacent to it. Cobblestone streets make for a pretty shaky video. And we saw a passenger train go by. And here we are approaching the gate into Enkhuizen. And then riding through the city to where our boat was waiting for us in the harbor. We were given a little bit of time to explore around the town while we ate our lunch. Then we all got back on the boat and began our boat ride across the Iselmere from Enkhuizen to a town called Lemmer. At this point I think I was pretty tired and I'm pretty sure I napped for most of the boat ride. We arrived with enough time for a short walk around town in Lemmer before going back to the boat for dinner. It was kind of a special meal because this is when the World Cup was on and the Netherlands played their first game in the finals. So we watched the game while we ate dinner and their team won. We spent a little bit more time walking around the town after dinner, and then that was the end of day one. I'll continue with the rest of the trip in a future video. I hope you enjoyed following along. I've also had some requests from some people who said that they wanted to see more of my raw riding footage from this trip, so I've also prepared a 45 minute clip, which is just straight riding footage and music in the background, and I'll post that video next. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.